Hello, congratulations, you are the new president of Asia Europe. Can you tell us something about you? What's your name? Uh, hello, Gnar, um, and hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Philip. I am from Asia Praha, and uh, I joined Asia three years ago uh, when I attended uh, some university info meeting, and I was really interested in some universities. But uh, it was just for one meeting because uh, I got to know the people from Asia Praha and I actually stayed uh, and got active because I found out that they are really fine people and it's great to spend time with them uh, and I got uh, later active on European level because when I was meeting people from not only Asia Prague but also other locals I found out that people are in Asia are like wherever they are from they are just amazing so it's, it was really nice to be more active and getting to know more people. On local level, you were president of Asia Praha for two years or something uh, like this? Or? Right now, I am still president of Asia Praha. I am in my third term, uh, but uh, I believe that like my vice president can do a really good job, uh, even like if I go to Brussels. And uh, I think there might be an option of having other new elections uh, earlier because we are supposed to have them on November. But uh, we can do it still on September, October. It de depends on the discussion with uh, the local board. But uh, more important, also, you have European level experience. You were in the SUCT. Uh, yes, I was in the SUCT 20, uh, 20, yeah, 2020, 2021 as a treasurer, and then the following one as a project manager. And I was uh, also, I call the time, uh, the project manager for uh, the sale project and uh, those both projects are really like close to me i really enjoyed working on them but uh, since i would be like president i want to focus on all the projects together with uh, other city members of course but uh, i know that uh, these uh, two projects are not the only projects of asia so i I want to focus on all of them and not just these two. But it's very interesting that you come from a background of uh, some universities also because uh, what EJ needs, needs now is a lot of recruiting. Yes, uh, we need a lot of recruiting and we need uh, to do probably some changes. Uh, for example, so many people from many locals actually told me that they wanted to organize projects like some universities but they can't do it because the fee hasn't changed in uh, approximately 10 years so uh, they just can't afford it due to the inflation and especially now during the whole pandemic situation and war in ukraine the inflation is really high it's uh, not uncommon to have it around 10 uh, percent even more even i heard that in turkey it's uh, about 70 percent which is crazy and with such inflation we can't uh, do the same project under the same circumstances uh, due to like, set by asia and uh, this needs to be changed. You originally wanted to run for financial director and you changed it to president when there was no other candidate, no candidate for president. So uh, what was your motivation for uh, becoming president and what would you want to achieve in your year as president? Yes, so originally I wanted to uh, run for financial director because I uh, studied uh, banking insurance, basically finances and uh, this is just the field where uh, I also worked for several years uh, but I also wanted to do like a lot of things connected to advocacy and for that reason I decided that it's better to actually do it uh, as a president than financial di uh, director and also since there, won uh, there wasn't any candidate uh, someone would need to be uh, like acting president and uh, from what I have heard uh, from Paul, the other candidate for financial uh, for CD member, uh, he told me that he wouldn't do it because he doesn't feel like doing it. So it would be either me or the third CD candidate. Uh, and at that point, it was just a good thing, in my opinion, to uh, change my candidature for president and actually being focused more on the advocacy. You're focusing, now you're confronted with uh, EG, which is not in the best financial state, and but also has big human resources problems after COVID. So what do you want to do about it? Uh, yeah, um, I will maybe first answer the, uh, uh, the human resources. Uh, I would like to 
help not, not only uh, locals but also the European bodies with recruitment. Um, when it comes to European bodies, I would like to make it more personal. Maybe do like some interviews with uh, people who were in such positions before to actually more personalize the positions and uh, get the work uh, closer to the possible applicants and uh, actually also explain not only the tasks but also what the people enjoyed about the work the most and what they got from, from it. Uh, like personal experience that maybe help them later uh, get uh, some amazing job, like dream job and uh, s such things. When it comes to locals, I would like to help uh, also with creating new visuals because, the, for example, the video that we have uh, about Asia in general is really nice, but it's already from 2014, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it's not really up to date. And uh, I think that some projects, that, for example, that I are mentioned in that video, uh, should be changed into other ones that are more related to this time. And uh, like this visual promotion uh, would be actually really helpful. Uh, then the second part was the financial situation, right? Uh, yeah, so I would like to uh, focus on like also expenses uh, if they are not really like necessary. Uh, if they basically uh, invest money reasonably, uh, where they will help the most instead of just wasting them, which uh, I don't think uh, Asia does right now. But still, I would like to check it because uh, double check is always good. And also, I would like to. Uh, educate uh, especially for some grants and some pos European possibilities on how to actually get money for not only uh, IG Europe uh, as an operating organization but also European and local uh, projects. And uh, by the way, uh, we can really see that you are very much into the EG visuals because you're wearing an EG Praha flag right now. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, thank you very much for this interview, for the time, and all the best for your term. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Gunnar, and thank everyone for watching.